This time through, we're going to be looking at Sweet Home Alabama. Now, just like our first song, Back in Black, Sweet Home Alabama has uh, chords and a riff. Now, Back in Black, we did E, D, to A, and then our riff. Sweet Home Alabama is working around the chords D, C, and G. Now, it's not playing those as full chords, but breaking up the notes a little bit of D, C, and G. And then we put a riff in between the chords. So, let's start by learning the chords and how we're playing them as riffs. First of all, we have a D where we're hitting the root note twice, then the second string, and the third string. Now, you can put your first finger down like a regular D if you'd like, but we're not playing that string, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we play it with the finger down or off. Then we have our C, which is played the same way. Two on the root note. Third fret on the second string, and then two open strings, the third and the fourth. So it's a variation on a C chord, but your root is still C. Then we come to G, and again we have two on the root, and we hit the open fourth and third string, and again that third fret on the second string. So this finger stays where it is pretty much the entire time we're playing the chords. Two, two, two and then hitting those three strings. That's how we're managing the chords. Let's take a look at that one more time. We have D, C, and G. Then all we need is to figure out how to put the riffs in between the chords. Our first riff is a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs. So, here's our first riff, starting on the open 5th string, we're hammering on to the 2nd fret, and we're doing the same thing on the 4th string, open and hammering on. So we've worked our way up the notes, now we're pulling off. So open string, 2nd, open string, 2nd, and pull off. And we finish with the second fret on the fifth string, pull off, and back on the second fret. So it's all open string and second fret, hammer-ons and pull-offs. Here's the whole thing together. And with our chords. Okay, that's the first riff. Now we play through those chords again. And we're on to our second riff. Now our second riff looks very different. We're gonna play the second fret of the third string and pull off so we're on the open string. Once we've pulled off, we're actually gonna hit the string again. Hit the open string again. The blend of pulling off the string and then hitting the string gives us the sound that we're hitting the string twice, even though we're pulling off once and picking once. Now we're going to do the same exact thing starting from the fourth fret. So we've got second fret, fourth fret, then we've got the first fret of the second string and slide it up to the third. And that puts us right back in position to start the chords again. So, second fret, pull off, fourth fret, pull off, slide up to the third from the first to third, and then we're right on back to our chords. 
So let's pause there. Let's take a look at the first run through and the second run through. Here's the first time through. Now we're on to the third time through the chords, and here's what's really cool about this. We're doing the first riff again the third time through. So again, we can play. And then there's only one more to learn, a fourth, fourth part. So part number one. four we're playing through the chords and this is the easiest one the fourth one is the easiest we play the open fifth string and hammer on to the second fret just like we're playing the other first and third riff but now we're just gonna pick the open fourth and third string so all together we hammer on and pick the next two strings So here's the whole thing. We'll play through it twice. I'll name the sections the first time and then play silently the next time. Here's the first run through. Second. Third. And fourth. 